Good evening, guys, and welcome to Smash Valley here in Koblenz, Germany. My name is Bowie, and next to me on the mic, Dyer on Fire, coming all the way from New York City. Very welcome. long flight, but I'm excited to be here. And uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm really good, actually. Um, uh, first of all, pl a pleasure to meet you. Uh, Absolutely. Obviously, heard loads and loads about you, and uh, a pleasure to have you here in Europe for the first time. I hope you're enjoying your time here. Like, obviously, I, I keep telling people that I this is my basically my first like tournament day here, and like yeah. I already want to come back. Excellent. Like, it's good. like that for me, man. I'm it's so the excited. Best way to be. It's the best way to be. Obviously, um, you know, got to got to show that we have uh, a lot of love here in the uh, in the EU scene. Yeah. Um, so this is actually game two, I believe. We uh, we had obviously we've been live, um, so. I believe that was um, red team taking the last one, wasn't it? Which oh um, no, I, I believe uh, blue team take take it, which was uh, uh, JTech and Sewell. Yes, so uh, they're, they're 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 actually we have an all sorts of affair. It seems you know we have Cloud, Lucina, Marth, and Meta Knight. We got we a got, nice spread going on here. I've always, I always like seeing Marth and Lucina in in in, in the same game. Yeah, uh, especially in, in doubles, obviously because you know they they have they obviously they have the same move set, but those those differences. It, I think usually, for the most part, it'll come off uh, better for Marth in, in the one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. Um, because of obviously the spacing and the way you want to do that. But I like the you know the way that changes in doubles. I see a lot more you know M Lucina's coming out in doubles from players who know how to play 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 Marth. Because the uh, the uh, the aptitude to to harness the finesse of Marth spacing is incredibly difficult to do in teams. It's too chaotic. There's too many moving pieces on the board. Yeah. So for you to get the kind of Tipper spacing on a consistent level, it's not practical. Yeah. So let me go with the safer bet yeah. and just go with the you know the sturdy damage. Lucina, you don't yeah. have to worry about all that. So it's it's a it's a really smart pick for teams. Agreed. And of yeah. course we have Cloud. Of course. I mean, why why would you not? You know, so much power. Mm. The, the the setup up potential just so much for him. And you know, you know, in in a oh, very very lovely the, the dimensional Oof. cape just landing and catching that or la oh, catching the landing rather. That's a very Lucina. satisfying move to catch. Oh, yeah. the dimensional cape. You don't, you don't often see it live, but it's so powerful. Yeah, so risky though. Nice pick up there. Ooh. All right, Jay recovers there just yeah. fine. Had to expend his limit though, so he does have that gone. Oh, you saw that uh, up B? Trying, oh, to, trying to pick up that, that, that quick kill there. Unfortunately, did not connect. Oh, didn't finish him off just about. And there he goes, picking up the scraps that he left off. And Swoo just holding down the stage, waiting for his partner to come back. Oh. You can't drop your shield when Meta Knight's charging that force smash mm. in your face. You just gotta hold it down, man. Yeah, yeah. It's too risky to move. This is so far we've got an even stock spread, uh, slightly in favor uh, for Red Team considering Marth's 22%. Uh, so he's, he's holding yeah. the percent down. I was, well. just, I was just confirming it. Sylvanas is um, Meta Knight and Jan and Gianni is um, is Marth. I, was, so, I was just wasn't sure on those two. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Sylvanas picking up the kill on Cloud. No, uh, nice up smash. Oh, Ooh. did not leave uh, Lucina all by her lonesome. Jay is right back into the action to protect his partner. It's definitely definitely looking quite tricky, but I don't think it's something that's not that's not impossible, especially with Cloud on the um, on the pitch. I was going to say on the pitch on the yeah. battlefield, yeah, uh, uh, or on the platform. Up to um, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just um, you know, if 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 S if if Swu or SWU is going to you know he needs to kind of really really hold back and just kind of put a lot of the pressure into his teammate. Um, and you know, just uh, use all of the kind of tricks that Cloud has. You know, play a little bit, a little, little, little bit more defensive, a bit, bit more reactionary, and kind of just give opportunities to his teammate. It's true because it's uh, in situations where you're down, you don't have stocks to give up. You need to pr play with a uh, uh, preservation in mind. Sylvanas gets a very, very nice nair to catch out. Um, what? Uh, uh, Swoo. Swoo. Yeah, yeah, uh, last yeah. stock. Yeah. See, that was uh, Jay's flaw. There is. When you have your partner last stock over 100%, your mind should be playing like an escort mission. Yeah. You're, it should be less about attacking the teammates and more about staying near your partner and making sure they don't get caught off guard. For sure, yeah. And unfortunately, Jay was not having that in mind, and that is why we see a situation where Jay is alone. You know, he couldn't protect his partner quite well. Tried enough. nicely the setup to up B, but didn't get that, that second hit, so Jay lives to fight for another day, but could he finish it off here? Oh, not Does quite. not. The same thing happens. Ooh. These two play. Ooh! Oh, that, that's like a, that's that, that's the coveted kill move for Meta Knights. They love landing that force smash. Very, Ultimate very satisfying. Very nice back air though, just to uh, secure that game. 
So they're, they're, looking, they're looking a little, little flustered about that, yeah. but that's okay. CC the uh, <laughs> TO coming over to support her, man. That's it's okay, you got this. Hey, that's not fair. You get support from TOs, man. <laughs> That's bias, extra power. Bias right there. Get a little shoulder massage. <laughs> that's that's, that's it's, a, it's like a stat boost in a video game. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah, yeah. Plus five to morale. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's good stuff, man. Excellent. But uh, yeah, so already I've been picking up uh, a lot of interesting differences between the uh, the American scene and uh, the, the the scene here in Germany as far as like um, ingenuity in the game. And the the, the thing that I picked up is. Uh, and I'm not the first to say this. A lot of the mid-level players here yeah. have their thing together a lot more than the the. Uh, the it's like you guys have a, a lot more mid-level players who are solid at the game. Yeah. Or yeah. American players have a bit more better like top and high-level players, but we have so many yeah. like new I underdeveloped players, and you guys yeah. have just so many people that know what they're doing. I think that I think that also comes with um, you know the the breadth of players you have compared to us. You know, there's so many more players, so you know each of those categories is going to be stacked a little bit more with a lot more people as That's well. That's true. So, yeah. Um, and, and obviously, you know, so big. You know, you, you, all those top players are spread out across the country as well. So. Um, we did see, though, um, that um, Swu has actually sw swatched from the Lucina over to the Mars, hoping for potentially four, you know, potentially that good spacing to come into play. So yeah. I, I'm quite interesting that we were talking about how, you know, Lucina can be a bit of a safety pick for the, for the um, you know, the ferocity of teams. Exactly, um, but you do sacrifice a bit of that, like, high-end damage output that, that comes from actually do, like, actually landing that tip before yeah, yeah. smash and closing out early stocks. Or right, maybe he was just inspired by Swoo's play. You're like, hey, I see him being affected with Marv. I think I want to get a little bit of that on my side. Swoo doing a very, very nice job trying to help his teammate, but he couldn't get there, unfortunately. So Jay down a stock already in this in this, in this uh, early part. I've noticed that um, uh, Sylvanas has been very, very aggressive off the edge. He's edge guarding very nicely, using these falling nares, trying to catch out um, any kind of recovery option. And it's working well for him. It's absolutely crucial to use the strengths that your character provides. And Meta Knight, his offstage game, he has that in space, man. He has so many jumps to spare. Great sweeping moves with down air. Oh, no, neither player could. Uh, there was a bit of miscommunication, both going for that, but it didn't. And, and then, like, yeah, like showing too many manners, like, oh, after you, sir. No, after you, sir. No, after you. And <laughs> yeah. no one got it. No one got it. Nice, nice down smash. Very, very nice being face. And you don't really see, honestly, not only do you not very. Oh, that was clean. Always very, good. Very Always nice. nice to see the up air string to up B. Oh, I like that single jab into forward air. I love Mark's single jab. It just controls so much space. Comes out on like six frames. It's just an overall amazing move, especially in teams. The chaos just allows it to be landed so much more often. Nice stuff. Meta Knight is a very frustrating character. He's got so many tools. They're very, very small, so it's kind of like it, it's it's hard sometimes to kind of really utilize it. Nice combo coming out there from Sylvanas, but could not finish it off. Yeah, we got a little bit of a Martheno between uh, Gianni and Sue right now. They're kind of like exchanging words and swords. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wow. I wonder what happened there. Oh, and an accidental. There's definitely a, a play on words there with words and swords. Yeah. And swords <laughs> because of the whole, yeah, yeah, sorry. That was quite late from me. I don't want to <laughs> um, Getting in the way of the, of, of, of the game. Oh no, Sue accidentally interrupts Jay's uh, combo there. He was not on the ground though, that was slightly in the air, so the weaker hit did, did, did come out. Yeah, Sue trying to protect Ooh, his... Oh, got a dimensional king! There Ouch. it is! Sending it's him literally into another dimension. And that was Jay's final stock. He's now taking us it's one stock apiece for the blue team. And I mean, if they can just get rid of this second stock from Sylvanas, um, they'll you know be able to bring us back! Jesus, so, so much expert sword play coming here from Jian. He's just fencing back and forth. Keeping everyone at bay here. Oh, not quite. Gets that double jab. Yeah. Oh, oh. Savannah's taking a, a hard hit there. But that does equal it out. Swoo just. Okay, I was worried that he may not have had that second jump. I didn't see it, but there it was. Oh, standing jab. No tipper he though. Gets the catch in the air. That's not going to be enough though. Definitely not at that percentage, no. But it's still looking quite scary. Lift grab there from Sylvanas. Dash attack. That's what you want. Oh, oh, open oh. spot. He just, no. he just spiked. He just oh, tipper, no. tipper shield broke his teammate. How unfortunate and a no! Wow, a very, very. I've never seen a Meta Knight so keen with that move. Yeah. Like it has that, that has such an eagle eye and with landing yeah. it. Honestly, because it's like you don't see a lot of Meta Knights like feeling confident with that move. They usually just stick to the safe yeah. dash attack yeah. and you know smash attack, pivot grabs and 
things like yeah. that. So. I think, uh, I, I mean, I felt personally it might have been a little bit too aggressive here and there, but he, <laughs> he got very, very lucky in you know, landing in, there, in those you know, inert frames and just and, and not getting punished for it. Um, but, you know, if it works, it works, right? Embrace the chaos of teams. That's exactly, what I say. Exactly, you know, yeah. It's you know. kind of like, you know, uh, it's like a... Um, it's like a paintball fight, and it's like you <laughs> yeah. see people, uh, you know, scrambling and fighting each other, and that's the time where you can sneak up behind somebody exactly, yeah. and get the free shot, and that's kind of what happens in teams. You just you mm. get to sneak up on people and hit them with strategies and techniques that normally are way too obvious in one on ones. Yeah, dynamic is very very different. Oh yeah, and yeah. I love to see it play out. I, I always kind of find you know we we were discuss discussing this earlier as well is about how kind of certain players will find a, an interesting proficiency in teams that they, they may not have that necessarily all the time in singles as well yeah. because a certain play style might you know play more into the favor of that kind of the hectic nature of, of doubles versus the very kind of um, uh, rigid kind of stoicism of singles yeah um, you're not more, allowed more about, about that neutral game than just kind of you know um, you know, flurrying back here and there, trying to f 